All right, what could I help you with? All right, well, I'm heading to a concert tomorrow night and uh, want to get some input on, um, you know, it's my first show shooting, so... Um, Who's playing? Uh, it's a band called Versa Emerge, along mm -hmm. with uh, opening for them is Ann Arbor down in uh, Dallas, Texas. Nobody ring, doesn't ring a bell. It's a, um, they're a national band on the um, Tell Fueled me. by Ramen uh, label. Oh, another Fueled by Ramen band. Yeah. Gotcha. How did you get the pass? Um, I actually um, emailed the manager of Versa Emerge. Was this after and, we, uh, we it talked? It was actually a quick response. Um, got an email back in about two minutes saying, not a problem, going to add you to the photo list. Yeah, that you emailed me, right, and asked me what to do? Right. Yeah, so... So um, Mike emailed me, and he goes, I don't know how to get a pass. Do I call the venue? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So my response to that was, um, well, it's pretty simple. You go right to the label. You go right to the management. You, Or if it's a smaller band, you just send them a message on Facebook. And don't BS anybody. Just be straightforward. Don't do the old... I'm a big, 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 huge, huge, huge fan. I really love you, and I'd love to shoot. Now, just go straight forward. No, don't beat around the bush. You say, listen, I'm looking to shoot this show. Here's the date. Here's the location. I'll give you access to the pictures I shoot, so on, so forth. And then uh, what What happened after that? Uh, yeah, so he just said, uh, you know, hopefully I see you at the show. Hopefully everything turns out great. Um, and I told him, you know, I'd send them, um, you know, a bunch of samples in case they wanted to use them. Exactly. See how it works. It's not hard. Yeah, it was, it was real simple. Um, you know, like you said, straightforward. Um, you're coming into town. I want to take some photos. Yeah, I mean, and and did you send them any of your work? Um, yeah, I sent them a link uh, to a, a band that I took uh, photos of uh, last month. Yeah, the most important thing in this day and age is if you show work that shows that you do this and you're not just a big fan. You know, you know, you're you're stepping into the world. You. All right. When you're in front of the barricade, you have to act like you are not a fan. You may be a fan, but you 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 have to, you know, act as if act as if you've been there before. You know, you don't want to. You know, you want to look good. Don't wear you know raggedy jeans with a t-shirt, a band t-shirt. Um, you know, look the part. Look good. I used to go go to shows in 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 black dress pants and button down shirts. People looked at me weird, but you know what? I got a lot of respect that way. Got a lot, a lot of respect that way because you know I, I didn't act like I was a uh, a fan, and I did my job. Yeah, how's that sound? Good. Yeah, that's great advice. Well, here and also don't forget earplugs. Yeah, I need to pick those up on my way out there. Yeah, yeah, you pick up the 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 foam ones for now, but you should order these Edomatic, they're Edomatic or whatever. They're they're like $10 earplugs, but they're reusable. They basically have three stages inside, so it actually makes the music sound better because it brings down the decibel level quite a bit, and the foam ones ex aren't exactly good for your ears because they bounce around and reverberate the sound. These uh Edomatic ones are pretty damn good. I mean, they are 10 bucks a pop, but, you know, I've had the same pair for quite a while. And uh, wh what kind of venue is this? Um, it's a pretty uh, small venue. It's actually um, a small stage over a much bigger venue. Um, uh, you know, it fits maybe, say, 500 to 1,000 people. Um, so it's not huge. It's not uh, – they don't have a very big pit in between the stage and the fans. So – you know, there's not going to be a lot of room for me to get right up in front. Um, so that's always, you know, obviously a concern as well. That's simple, simple. Everything's simple. Everything is simple. Did he tell you how many songs you can shoot? No, no, I haven't heard anything about right. that yet. So what, what you have going for you, it's easier to shoot these 500 to 1,000 seat venues. When you start getting into the bigger bands, it's all BS. You know, you get to shoot, most of the time, it's three songs and out. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, most shows, even smaller shows. But... You know, you don't want to, when you start getting to these amphitheater shows, everything looks generic. It looks the same. You don't get access to the bands. In this case, you've already talked to their manager. Make a point to go up to the manager and introduce yourself. All right? Even if you need to send them an email, just be like, hey, just want to introduce myself. Thank you in person. Or when you get there, talk to somebody who looks like they know something and say, hey, is so-and-so around? Uh, I just wanted to thank him. You know, he, he'll 
he set me up with the photo credential. I want to personally thank him. That's the first connection that you make. That's important. Um, then after you talk to me, go, hey, you know, I was interested in doing some candid photos uh, of the band either before the show or after. Uh, would you mind if I sat in and did some candids? Just ask the guys if it's okay. And right. if not, I understand. But, you know, be more than happy to go backstage and, and do these candid images. Or is it okay if I either, you know, shoot the whole show or if I could possibly shoot from the stage? Now, you have to get into the mindset that you're going to, you're, you know, if you're on stage, you have to anticipate where these guys are going to be. Watch some videos on YouTube of them and see how they play and where they jump around. And, you know, you want to stay out of the way. You're not going to run, you're not going to go on stage. You're going to be side stage. Um, I occasionally go on stage with certain bands that I know because, because that's me. I do that myself. Um, let's see. Yeah, all good tips, man. I'm writing the book on this. It's going to be the Rock and Roll Photo Academy. Yeah, that would be great. Um, it's going to be a lot of audio because I like talking more than writing. And, you know, flat-out tips. What what lenses and what camera? Uh, I got a D90, um, and I'm bringing um, a 50 1.4, and I also have a, um, an 8200. Oh, good. That's good. So you figure this venue you're going to be at. Jeez, in the 2500 ISO range with your camera? Yeah, about that. So, you know, you're going to shoot, I would say, shooting manual. Right. Not manual focus. So when I say that, some people take it that I mean manual focus. I don't. Uh, get into manual. Cheat the system. 2500. Get your shutter speed no less than 1 25th of a second. Hi the higher, the better. If you need to cheat a little bit, it's okay to do that. It's okay to say if it's if, it, if it's reading 125th is right on, nothing wrong with bumping it to 250th of a second and bringing the raw file back later because at right. least you're guaranteeing yourself an image that you're freezing the action. That is the most important thing when it comes to shooting music. Uh, if it's blurry and out of focus, to me, it's a worthless image in most parts. But if you know these guys are running around or if they're static, if they're static and you see that you have good lighting, you get more, you know, a good shutter speed, then maybe it's okay to bump your aperture to 32, 35, okay. something like that so that it gives you a little bit more depth in case you need it. But, you know, in this day I shoot at 4, I shoot shows at 4000 at at about f3.5, f4 uh, at 400th of a second just because I can, you know, with the D3. You should be able to get 2500 ISO without a problem shooting raw with what you're doing. Gotcha. So so I shouldn't just start wide open with um, the you, aperture? Well, you start. can. Yeah, start at 2.8. Just see okay. see how it looks. Play with your settings during the opening act. Gotcha. Um, just keep in mind that during the, during the second act, they usually have more lights. But a lot depends on the situation. Good rule of thumb, this is like what I, I told Gizzy when Gizzy was in the pit with me shooting. Uh, depending on the light, don't shoot. If the light is not good, don't just shoot just to shoot. If it's too dark, if there's no front light, if there's, you know, it's really dark because there's just this blue light. Blue lights don't convert very well when you're shooting because blue isn't very bright. When you see red, if it's a if it's a heavy red wash, shoot it, and then those pictures end up being black and whites because red light turns into great black and white images, high mm -hmm. contrast. So if you see low blue lights and it just doesn't, if you're not getting a good enough reading... Don't just shoot it just because it's there. Don't get too tri trigger happy. And even if the guy comes really close to you and is like looking at you, you know, playing towards the camera, make pretend you are shooting, but don't waste your shots because most likely there's no light in his face. Gotcha. Or don't be afraid to maybe pop that flash up really quick and shoot, but you, you don't want to pop the flash off. That's not something you really want to be doing. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm hoping for an opportunity, you know, in some of the opening bands to just see what the settings look like, test yeah. a couple samples. Don't be afraid to get there early. Don't be afraid to, you know, ask a security guard, you know, if you could talk to the manager, because that's your first in, is if you get to the manager, then you can get to the band. Just say, hey, listen, is it all right if I do some candid images backstage? That's all you ask. You're flat out, you're asking a question. You're not bullshitting him. Uh, I'm not supposed to curse anymore. You're not BSing him. Um, you know, you're saying it like, a, you're asking for it. You have to ask for the sale. You know, you're never going to get what you want unless you ask for it. And you got a photo credential already because you asked for it. Right. That and you still need work to prove that you do it. So Absolutely. You know, even in, in a word of advice to people out there that that don't have work, everybody has a friend who's in a band. Every bar, There's bars you can get into these shows. Just start shooting. People will see good images. If you take good images, it doesn't matter who the band is. They'll start to notice, you know, 
you, you just build up your book. Make sure you have a place to send people to look because that's how they qualify you. If you've got nothing to show them, you're not going to be qualified. Yeah, that's actually what I did for the first band. There's a small outdoor patio bar right across the street from my work. Just went over there one day with my camera, started shooting. That's it. And then people see you and just, you know, do your job. Do what you do. And it, and, and it leads to other things. So find blogs in your area like, you know, like Outback, Texas. <laughs> you know, whatever they call, you know, something. <laughs> find a blog. Find a local magazine and just say, listen, I'm shooting. And then that gives you a, a, an accreditation to get into shows. You say, hey, listen, I'm shooting for so-and-so magazine. Here's some of my work. Well, one, they see your work, and two, you're shooting for a publication. They want to get you there because they want exposure. Gotcha. That's about it. I don't want to give out any more information today. That's fair. <laughs> That's a lot of good stuff right there. Totally agree, and I appreciate it. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. That's really, really good stuff. I should put that in a can of Texas and, and sell it. <laughs> I'm a buyer. Sweet. It's going to be like three eighty nine. <laughs> Whatever. It's going to be a good book. You know, I'm not going to, I don't know what it's going to cost, but it's going to be straight up information on not just technical aspects, but the simple stuff of wear earplugs. I mean, people forget their earplugs. But I'll tell you how to get, oh, and make friends with the security guards. Because if you're going to go to this venue often, always go up to the security guard and say, listen, I'm approved to shoot. If you're approved to shoot the whole show, you say, listen, I just want to say before the show starts, uh, I've talked to management. They've approved me to shoot the whole show. So, you know, instead of three songs and kicking me out, I've been approved to do the whole show. Then, boom, you're set. Because you want to talk to them. You want to talk to security. They watch your back. If there's a guy coming over the railing that's surfing the pit and their feet are coming, they'll 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 move you out of the way, but they're going to watch out for you and make sure that you're not going to get hurt. So security guards are your best friend. Always talk to them. Say, hey, man, how you doing today? You know, everything cool? Anything I should know? You know, do you need anything? Nice seeing you. I'm going to, you know, I have three songs. Is, is it three songs tonight and out? That's if you're only shooting three songs. Just, you know, treat them well. They'll they'll protect you and they'll get to know you the more you shoot shows. And they're the guys you want to introduce yourself to. Cool? Yeah, it sounds good, man. Have fun. And, and uh, let's set up another call where you can send me your pictures. Absolutely. And we will critique them and rip them to shreds for you. Can't wait. All right. All right. Sounds good, man. Yep. Have have a uh, uh, loads of fun. That's the plan. And don't drink. Whatever. Don't drink. Understood. Be professional. Totally. You're there to do a job. Agreed. And if they offer you alcohol, it's okay to drink a little bit. I usually don't, but you know, if they offer, hey, would you like a beer? Have a beer. I could do that. All right. Sounds like you like beer. I might. <laughs> All right. All right, well, have fun, all right? All right, thanks, man. All right, we'll see you. All right. Later.